Yeah, I want to do a little bit of everything. I want to make yes. music for a movie. I would want to make like visuals for my own show. Yes. I'm still working on that. Me, if I suddenly write something that I've never done before, that's way uh, more exciting than doing like the same thing over and over. If you've only, that's why I was like a little bit tired of dubstep. I was like, oh, I want to produce so many other things. Um, I would love to produce some stuff for Taylor Swift. And this one couple just gave us their dog to hold. And it was like just out of nowhere. <laughs> and the, there's this picture of like Johanna looking like this. <laughs> I sometimes got like uh, weird questions in school. Like my friends would ask me, hey, do you listen to your own music? Like as if it was like, hey, like, do you masturbate to your own picture? Hey guys, you know, a sidewalk talk. I am here with Virtual Riot. Hey, hi. And we have done an interview with you before in 2017. So, oh, we go. All right. by Blind the way, test. we are interviewing on segways. So if I yeah. wipe out, um, uh, no, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But if you guys like these videos, then please like, subscribe, and comment, because I have to say these things, you know, on the YouTube channel. But yeah, there we go. How, how have you been? Um, I have been pretty good until last year when Corona struck and I got very depressed for a little bit. But it, it was like the touring that just suddenly disappeared was giving me like a rhythm sort of to live after. Mm. Like on the weekends, get up early to get your flight. And then during the week, you got to work because yeah, on the weekends, you got to play shows. Yeah. So this was, let's go that way. What have you been up to to, you know, kill the time? Uh, I have moved from, I think when you interviewed me back then, I lived in Hollywood. So I moved to downtown now. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in like a, uh, a single studio apartment there. Um, and <laughs> and I, I got a studio in downtown now too, that like a, um, a studio room uh, with uh, speakers and keyboards and everything where um, I can also like bring people in, have a recording room that can like fit a whole drum kit. Um, I just finished recording uh, new drums there with Pat from Motestep for Spicy Rhythm Drums too. Oh cool. So that, that was my last three days, that was really fun. Like what has your biggest struggle been this entire time? I don't know, it's been going pretty well. Like I've been trying to, I got a little bored of dubstep uh, just because it was like all I was doing um, day in and day out. The show is never, like I, got, I never got bored of playing shows. Uh, I could like still play the same set over and over for years and I'd still be fine and I'd love doing it every time. Um, but I started like doing some more um, poppy stuff and been like experimenting like the what? i had this future base ep called still kids so i thought i could make that like its own project and just call it still kids mm -hmm. and then so i started releasing songs on there now it's just like a little side project where um yeah like we just had it i just had a tune with uh, prism come out there where emma did some cool vocals mm -hmm. and uh I've got like a, I've got like a bunch coming up uh, that will be like released this year. So look forward to that. Uh. <laughs> We're gonna jump into fan questions because there are lots of questions. Um, but do you remember what you said when you answered the question? What do you want to be remembered for? No. Did I answer that last time? Was you like that, that answered was a it. Last time? Okay, so we always ask that yeah, question, right? Yeah. Like, what do you want to be remembered for? Yeah. And you said like basically to create a lot of things, to create yeah. um, like visuals, you want to create like yeah. a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I want to do a little bit of everything. I want to make yes. music for a movie. I would want to make like visuals for my own show. Yes. I'm still working on that. Yeah, I'd love to do like direct on, or write an entire music video at some point. Uh, make music for yeah, do you remember? like make music for a computer game. Um, I might have said like a lot of these things back then as well. Yeah, you did. Okay, so nice. like, and okay. nothing has changed in terms of that. Oh, okay. Still on track. Best music production advice. Um, make something that you enjoy listening to yourself. I sometimes got like uh, weird questions in school. Like my friends would ask me, "Hey, do you listen to your own music?" Like as if it was like. Hey, like, do you masturbate to your own picture? Mm. Sort of, as if it, like, that's what the question sounded like to me. Mm. But then I was like, of course, I would listen to my own music if, like, if I make myself a sandwich, I want to, I want to 
to be the kind that I like, of course. <laughs> so and it can like it can be uh, depressing if you make music that you don't want to make or you have to because of I don't know because of some contract. So try and stay uh, authentic. Mm. What's the biggest lesson you've learned in this industry? Ooh, um, be nice. Uh, don't be a bad person because be it'll nice. it, like everyone like knows everyone and uh, people talk a lot so you better be like nice to everyone Just be a good person yeah um, it's not so difficult and it's free too did your friends in when you're growing up listen to EDM no I've had this one friend who like uh, who was into the same stuff I was into and he actually showed uh, the scary monsters and nice sprites EP to me when it came out but the village I grew up in like the only music would be electronic music would be like at the bumper cars or something and it would be this horrible trance or something or euro dance so uh, yeah there wasn't there wasn't a lot of influence through my friends except for this one guy who was like the nerdiest nerd uh, and we became best friends how do you deal with writer's block? Ah, uh, try something else. Like try writing something you don't usually do. Um, just like get into like an uncomfortable environment in terms of songwriting. Like, cause then suddenly, like for me, if I suddenly write something that I've never done before, that's way uh, more exciting than doing like the same thing over and over if you've only that's why I was like a little bit tired of dubstep I was like oh I want to produce so many other things and it was kind of like my own fault running myself into a corner there uh branding wise mm -hmm. but I think I can come out of that you're known for like one big genre right yeah. so like were you scared of kind of veering off into other types like styles of music it's the, it was more like that bef like before like in the past I would do a lot like have a bigger variety of songs that I'd put out I'd make like drum and bass and glitch hop and everything in between and now because of the live shows it's more like oh I'd rather make something that I can play live and that works and but then now you're now I'm kind of like doing the opposite of the advice I said to that other question earlier uh, I wasn't like being authentic anymore I felt like at least a little bit like that I was like oh now I ran myself into a corner here and um, I think, but I think I can get out of that. That's okay. Like uh, fans will, like the the true fans will go with whatever <laughs> you put true. out. If they, uh. What do you do when you're having a hard time? I try to do something else and play video games, uh, have a hot bath. I love getting I love getting ideas in the shower, like especially while shower. <laughs> like so many ideas, preset junkies was made in the shower. What? The idea, and then I was okay. I have to remember this now. I have to remember this until I make it to the laptop. I can't forget the like melody and concept and everything of it. So sometimes, like this is also like a writer's block uh, um, method. Just do like some mundane task, like cleaning up the house, will like get your brain going because then you'll start like singing a song in your head and. Or, or you'll make one up and it'll it'll just happen because your brain gets so bored <laughs> and uh, Yeah, that, that works for me a lot like mm. different things work for different people, but yeah right. What's your favorite plugin? Ah! No, 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 no um, I guess serum, but that's like the boring answer um, besides that, I really like UVI Falcon because that's like some weird nerdy <laughs> shit and uh, Native Instruments Reactor is really fun and I also recently installed FL Studio I still need someone to teach me some like uh, maybe I'll meet up with Nate or something uh, with Eliminate because he knows FL Studio maybe he can teach me and we can make a funny video out of it or something Why but I'm not switching. not switching. I'm like using it together with Ableton. Like I'll make sounds in FL with Harmer and then I'll export them there and then I'll use them in Ableton and arrange there. Oh. Like only use FL for like the sound design. Mm. Who knows, maybe in the future I will get so used to it that I might switch over or something. Speaking of Eliminate, there are tons of questions about Re regarding him. Yeah, recording oh, no. him. What um, do the people want to know? <laughs> Is he really your best friend? He's That's a he's a, he's a he's a really good friend. Mm. Yeah. So how do you get into the music business? <sighs> I got lucky that like even like when I started when I was like fourteen or fifteen or something, I already like uh, got in touch with a manager who was like 
helping me out really well like for the first four years we worked with no contract or anything because he like believed in me mm. and um like his the, the other people on his team are like also really helpful there's like another guy who who's on his on the same company is doing all my advancing and and helps me with like bookkeeping and stuff so it's just like a really good team that you need to look out for that helps you that uh like actually wants to help you and not just like a like don't just sign a publishing deal because oh I'm gonna get an advance I'm gonna get some money and then they don't care and there's no one looking after you no one's gonna put you in sessions like have you need the personal connection for okay. sure do you meditate yes I have I have How to I have to admit I uh, downloaded the um, headspace app and it's been helping me a really? lot and I've been enjoying it headspace. yeah I keep I'll, saying about that I really wanted to you know I like the guy's voice so much I mean I guess that's the point where the fuck are we how much time do you spend in the studio usually when i go i uh, it's hard to get me out sometimes like uh it'll be like five or six hours in a row it's, i don't know if it's like if it can be called an addiction but i do like need to open up ableton at, at least once every couple of hours to really? calm my inner anxiety <laughs> really and then you just kind of get stuck sometimes yeah bell are you sleeping not right now. <laughs> I I do uh, try to get a lot of sleep uh, as much as I can. Um, bad sleep quality will uh, will like yeah make me have a bad time. Collab That's like what I learned the most as well. Also with like the depression thing, it was mostly like uh, oh, like uh, lack of sleep. Yeah, a healthy sleep cycle has helped a lot. Next. Collab with Skrillex? Question mark. Yeah, I mean we're we've been working on it. I need to hit him up again. He's been uh, he's been um, chilling a bit uh, over New Year's. If you could create a set anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I'm I, I still like I still haven't played in Tokyo, but like on the on a roof somewhere in Tokyo would be super dope, wow. like in Shibuya or something. <gasps> that would be crazy. That would be uh, probably a you sick make place. That happen. I, I don't know if that's legal. <laughs> oh no! There's a oh there's a um, oh, maybe that's actually possible. There's a um, roof thing that you can go to now on top of one of the shopping centers where you have like a really sick view of, um, over the oh, whole Shibuya really? crossing, and the, I think it's an event space as well. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I can't wait to play there in, in June if Japan opens up by then. We'll see. Who are your five? Current favorite underground artists? Um, there's this girl singer producer Oklu that I've been listening to a lot. Really like them. Um, I've been diving into hyper pop a little bit uh, and like been listening to 100 Gex, so I really like uh, anything Dylan Brady has touched. So there's like so many really good new like young dubstep kits like Leo Tricks or Veer or um, Voltra, uh, who's actually from Germany. Those kids are like doing lots of crazy stuff and it's been very inspiring to like listen to what they're, they've been coming up with. Are your snares mono or stereo? They're mono on the transient, but then they are stereo on the tail, mm. usually. Can you give any details on album or EP? Um, so yeah, I wanted to release something last year, but then because of Corona and because of the touring, uh, I just wanted to like hold out. The uh, one EP is pretty much done. Um, I just like now I just need to figure out an artwork or something, but I'm kind of waiting for like a good moment to put it out. I eventually, if touring doesn't come back this year, then eventually during this year, I'll be like, okay, fuck, I need to release something. So I'll definitely put something out this year for sure. I was lucky enough to be in a position last year where I didn't need to sort of, I like, I still posted like all kinds of snippets and everything on my Twitter to like keep everyone entertained. But uh, if I work on an album, I want it to be good and it might take a while. If you got the opportunity to to produce for a mainstream pop star like Lady Gaga, would you? Uh, yes, I'd love to do that. Um, I really enjoy Pick a pop star. it. Um, I would love to produce some stuff for Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Absolutely, love that Taylor stuff. Taylor Swift. Take I've... take Taylor Swift production to the next level. Hundred percent. I guess you would say Taylor Swift. Why, why Taylor Swift? Johanna's been listening to her a lot, Aww. and so, uh, Aww. well, it's Melanie Martinez. 
kind of cool would be cool to produce something for her but uh and um yeah um, and i want to do something like with with zed we started something some time ago but i also like it's more of a pop song that's good that like sounds more like and like a radio thing it doesn't sound like virtual riot so um it, it'll it would still have like my name in the credits like valentin Brunn, but it wouldn't be for my virtual riot project so i asked him hey should we also do like a an electronic thing that sounds like good old zed times but in 2021 and uh so I'll, I'll start something and then we might be working on that too That'd what do you cool. think you would be doing if you weren't producing music i'd probably do something video related like i love doing uh music videos for other people's songs when i was a kid and and like uh, recording sketches with my friend and stuff like that so it would definitely still be something in this in this realm and like my childhood job dreams were uh astronaut and pyrotechnician so I might do the pyro at EDC if DJing doesn't work out. <laughs> Favorite anime? Oh, um, recently, uh, Made in Abyss has become my favorite anime uh, of like newer ones because um, it is uh, just fucking mental and traumatizing. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, Helsing, which has a lot in common with Made in Abyss in terms of its brutal, gory, violentness. Uh, and Full Metal Alchemist. Um, oh, I heard great Death Note, of course. Her. What's your greatest memory? Uh, everyone singing uh, Happy Birthday for my wife uh, at uh, the NOS Event Center. It was like 15,000 people or something. Uh, that was that was super cute. Also, because she had like a she was like feeling really down that day, so she was like super surprised. Oh. Also, um, us going to the uh, to like Mount Fuji in Japan, but like we didn't climb the mountain, but we went to like another mountain that's across where once you're on there, you have a good view of the Mount Fuji. And so a lot of couples go up there and then take a picture uh, together. And since it's a lot of couples there, they like trade pictures like, hey, I will take like, can you take a picture of us? Then we'll take a picture of you in turn. Uh, and this one couple just gave us their dog to hold and it was like just out of nowhere. <laughs> and the, there's this picture of like Johanna looking like this and this dog being handed into the side of the picture like she hasn't received it fully yet. But just, uh, yeah, it's my favorite picture. How do I get to the production level you've achieved? Every day, uh, five hours of Ableton after the meals. <laughs> yeah, just like lock yourself in and, and like learn a lot, but also like with a with a goal, I guess. Like, I guess I could have learned a lot of things quicker if I'd used YouTube tutorials or something, but a, a lot of those weren't around yet when I was starting. Um, so like right now you can probably get to my level a little faster what uh, I can definitely recommend is learn an instrument uh, and I would always say preferably piano because once you can play piano you can just play like anything on the piano right. uh, and it just teaches you so much about music theory that it's like it's not necessary that you like need to know that but it'll make things so much easier for you in terms of songwriting oh hey guys <laughs> Hey, look who it is. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, what are some sources of information that has helped with your quality mix downs? University mostly. Like I haven't watched any tutorials or anything on the internet, but uh, mostly like things I've learned in university and then just really learning by doing. Like I've really just tried to uh, learn how to EQ something in a way that I like it and uh, then there are like a few things you like kind of should do or if something sounds too harsh then look at the, maybe the three kilohertz range or something so those there are like little rules but um, at the end of like all of this after like tr trying to like learn everything and trying to learn how to make like every sound imaginable I kind of had to like unlearn it as well a little bit because uh, then it became like a little uh, difficult to make something intentionally bad so now it's like learning about uh, how to make certain styles that I've never done before or something and not just trying to go for like the cleanest mix down or, or, or whatever like you can uh, I'd, I'd always prefer a little more flavored mix down that has uh, its own like unique style to it rather than the perfect uh, exact 
uh, kind of like clean result. Do you, do you recommend people going to music school? Mm, I, I've, I don't know any music schools out here. Like I've been to Icon a couple times for Q and A's, mm -hmm. but I don't know like how the courses are. Mm. Mm. So um, yeah, the, the one, the university I went to in Germany was amazing. Uh, it was like 50% the teachers and the courses that were just like really good and um, really well designed and super fun. But also 50% like the other people at the university just like exchanging knowledge with each other. Everyone being an absolute nerd or a weirdo, like amazing guitar players, drummers who just all wanted to make music. So it was like the perfect environment. What exactly did you study? Um, the course was uh, music production at the Pop Academy in Mannheim and it would have ended with a Bachelor in Arts but I left uh, because there were so many like booking requests from the US so I uh, moved over here um, before I could uh, finish uh, my bachelor's degree. What is your biggest motivator? Um, mostly just trying to figure out how to make uh, new sounds that I haven't heard yet or that I haven't like imagined yet and um, uh, yeah it's maybe it's like a very selfish goal also to just like uh, eventually make enough money this way so I can like live where I want to live with my wife. Um, there's also like uh, the the dead mouse motivator. He like intentionally keeps his uh, living costs very high so that he has a motivator to work. <laughs> Are you kidding? Wow, yeah. that's a. I told I told my accountant that and she she did not like it. That's uh, she was like that's no. That's one way to motivate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I have to work really hard to like keep up with all my expenses. <laughs> um, which of your songs was the hardest to make and why? Um, I think the Still Kids songs were pretty difficult because uh, I wanted the vocals to be really good. And for one of them, I like invited uh, all the people at the university that were like up at midnight to come to the studio and record like a big choir. And uh, that was pretty fun. Um, I told them to like, hey, you don't need to sing it perfectly. You can like sing a little bit like drunken, but some of them took it a little bit too seriously and you can kind of hear it in the recording. Someone just going like oh, all over <laughs> the place. But uh, that was super sick, but also a lot of work until that song was done. What has been the best part about being a producer slash DJ? Uh, that I get to see the world. I am like incredibly thankful for that. Uh, favorite favorite like, country? I, Japan. Yeah, probably. And uh, other than that, um, the China tours have been really amazing, and the landscapes, like the 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 nature there. Holy shit! It was every time. It's so cool. Uh, I really enjoyed going there and I yeah I, I can't wait until touring is back again uh, also Australia is just always a good run uh, especially because of like uh, the like Perth drum and bass uh, and Chinese laundry in Sydney so yeah those are super sick but yeah I'm just like I'm just like super thankful that I've like been able to see so much already I have a little bit of flight anxiety but every time there's a little bit of turbulence I just think like oh I've already seen more than like definitely a lot more than the average human this is this is okay <laughs> so many people have commented about how inspiring your music is thank you and how oh. you are so many people are asking how you are thank you for being concerned i am i'm okay i literally made a song called don't worry about me <laughs> it's not out yet uh, how to get ideas uh, listen to a big variety of music as well on, on like Spotify, listen to like all kinds of playlists, stuff that you might not think you'd like or stuff you've never heard or from like other cultures, like world music. So that's what helps me a lot of times. Like sometimes I go on this page clip and you can just hit this random button and it'll just give you a random upload from some person in the world. And it's sometimes it's the weirdest stuff, but it's like really good. Uh, idea start like yeah how do you join disciple um over the internet I, at first rossi just like uh texted me on facebook or something and then i met them all for the first time in at a show in paris uh and then i think we spent uh christmas together in england all together uh yeah that was that was super nice but it was mostly over the internet at first so are you guys ever gonna start streaming again I know I should. Uh, my manager says I need to use my YouTube channel more as well because it's like so many subscribers that I'm not using, and you have to like, yeah. But I, 
with the streaming it was also the fact that um twitch said oh you can you could do it but it ha would have to be on a schedule and you would have to do it like every blah day every week and i know i couldn't like keep up with that but maybe that's a good idea i kind of want to start a patreon and then maybe that'll force me to stream maybe that's like okay then you get access to my streams and every monday blah, 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 or something i want to i want to come up with something like that to keep me busy how to make a good fat rack Camel Crusher, Voxengo Tube Amp. Um, you can even use uh, Output Thermal. Um, the whatever stock saturator you have, M saturator from Melda, uh, and then a 50% OTT at the beginning and a 50% OTT at the end, and then add mayonnaise in between the <laughs> in between the saturators for lubrication. Uh, favorite video game. Portal 2, um, yeah, probably that, and Enter the Gungeon. What advice would you give your younger self? I don't know, invest in Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be smart here. <laughs> uh, Amazon, invest in Amazon, yeah. Tesla. Bitcoin. Netflix, <laughs> Bitcoin. Uh, no, I think I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything right now and how it turned out. Maybe learn another instrument, like I wish I could play guitar. But if you guys like these videos, then please like, subscribe, and comment, because I have to say these things, you know, on the YouTube channel. But yeah, there we go. Mm.